This time we'll be controlling our home appliances via SMS and phone call along with its real-time feedback. So stay tuned. So hello and welcome everyone to yet another home automation project and this is the very first time I'm trying to control the home appliances via SMS and phone call and it's just because of you people. Yes, many of you people ask me that, hey Sachin, why don't you try this TTCO T-Call model to control the home appliances via SMS and phone call. And yes, you ask for, I made it just for you. And that's why I always say, do comment below your project ideas and maybe we can come up with that project videos onto our channel. So yeah, also let me know which more projects you want uh, me to make on this channel into the comment section of the video. And that being said, let us start with this project. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software, which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software. And that feature is called as follow me mode. Now this is truly very useful feature, which I can't explain it in simple words. Rather, let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that? the path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly. And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out. And if you find it interesting, you can purchase the software later on. So for making this project, we'll be taking the help of none other than the TTGO T-Call module, which is the best module for your IoT projects. So if you haven't heard about this board and don't know how to use it, I'll suggest you to watch out my getting started video on this project. By watching this video, you'll come to know everything regarding this particular board. So along with this TTGO T-Call module, you also need one relay model to control the appliances. And after getting all the components, you have to connect them all according to this circuit diagram. So there is nothing new in the hardware. Everything, every logic, every magic is happening with the help of the code. So let's just jump onto Arduino IDE and observe the code for this project. So here's the code for our project. Now I'll let you know what changes you have to make in this code to work it on your side as well. Okay, so first of all, here are the three variables where you need to provide your mobile number. Now, what I did in this project is that I have provided one specific mobile number and if I'm getting any voice call or SMS from this particular number, then and then only our project will respond, okay? So I'm only able to control my appliances if I send SMS or make a call using this number which I mentioned the code and this is kind of a security purpose. Otherwise, if you make a call from any random number, this project will be responding to that and we don't want that generally, okay? We want only one single phone through which we'll be able to control our appliances, okay? So in your case, you have to provide your mobile number here, here and here. In these three positions, you have to provide the number. Now you have to be very sure that you don't put any empty space in between or at the starting or at the ending of this number. Make sure you don't put any space otherwise this code won't work, okay? Straight after that, here I have defined the relay pin as 18 as I have connected the relay module to the pin 18 of a TTGO T-Call module. Now, as this is just a demo project, I have put only single relay here and I'm only be controlling one single appliances. But in future, you can also, you know, control multiple appliances via SMS. Using phone call, you'll be able to control one single appliance only. But using SMS, you can control n number of appliances. For that, you need to, you know, make bit changes in the code, okay? But let us understand this demo code on how to control one single appliance plans and then you'll be pretty much you know comfortable to replicate this code for other projects straight after that we'll jump onto the loop and in the loop we have only one single function which says update serial which will be you know responsible for sending and receiving the serial data uh, between the esp3 to the main controller and the gsm module okay so what we are doing here is first of all any data coming from the gsm module will be read by this particular function and it will be stored inside one variable called as res okay and after that, we after we store the data, we are just converting that data into the lower character and storing that in yet another variable uh, called as lower. So now lower contains all the data coming from the GSM module. Okay. Now let's just see what we are doing further. 
After that, we are sending this whole lower string into the function called as relay control. So let's observe what's inside the relay control. Now, this is the main function inside this whole particular code where all the logic of, you know, controlling appliances is happening. Okay. So let's just, uh, you know, carefully observe what's happening inside the code. So here, first of all, we have an if condition where we are comparing two different character pointers, which is lower and MSD, which stands for message. Now, what is this comparison all about? This comparison is about if the received data is an SMS. If is it so, this if condition will be satisfied and be, uh, the code will jump inside this particular function. After that, we'll be storing whole data from this variable to one string called as source. After that, we'll be extracting what's the actual SMS we have received from that whole GSM data. After extracting what message is, we'll be printing uh, what's message inside our serial monitor of our ESP32 board. After that, in case in the message, we have the data called as relay on, we are turning on the relay. And in case we have message as relay off, we are just turning off the relay. And not only that, after turning it on and off, we are also sending a real time feedback using this function called as modem dot send SMS. Okay. So after we are turning on the relay, we are also letting the user know that relay is turned on. Okay. So it's a real time feedback that we are sending that, Hey, your message is successfully received and we have turned on the relay. Okay. So this is very useful useful feature in this particular project. Similarly, when relay is turned off, we are also sending a message as relay is turned off. So this was all about how we are controlling the appliances using the SMS and how we are getting the feedback as well. Now let us observe how we are controlling the appliances with the help of a voice call. So for that, this if condition will going to get satisfied. Okay. So in case we are getting the data from the GSM module, which is regarding a voice call, then this condition will be satisfied and a code will go inside this particular if condition. Now here, as soon as we are getting a call, first of all, what we are doing is we are just hanging up the call. So after one single ring, Tico Tickle module will automatically hang up the call. Okay. And straight after that, what it will do initially, if the relay was on, it will directly turn it off. And initially, if relay was off, it will directly turn it on. So basically, it is toggling based on the voice call. So when you call it for the first time, it will turn on the relay. When you call it for the second time, it will turn off the relay. Okay, so we are just toggling. And not only that, uh, after we turn on and off the relay, we are also sending the real time feedback with the same function modem dot send SMS. Okay, so real time feedback of voice call will be sent to the user via SMS. Okay. So this is the whole logic about how we are able to control the appliances using the voice call using the SMS along with this real time feedback. So that's it about the code. Now I'll select the right board, which is the ESP32 Rover module, select the right board and straight away hit the upload button. So by the time the code gets uploaded, I'll make the connections of the relay module with the bulb. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and I also successfully made the connection of the bulb with the relay model. Now let's just see this project in action. So as you can see, when I send the message as relay on, the bulb turned on and after some time, I also got the feedback on the same message as relay is turned on. So that's the real time feedback. And now let's just turn off the bulb with the help of a voice call. So I'll make a call to this number. As you can see, relay got turned off. And if I open my message application, as you can see, I also got the feedback as relay is turned off. Similarly, we can turn on and off the relay with the help of an SMS, with the help of the phone call using the GSM module. So yeah, that was all about this demo project on how you can control your home appliances with the help of SMS and with the help of a voice call from any corner of the world until unless you have the GSM connectivity option. I hope you enjoyed this project and if it's so, do click the like button and also let me know in the comment section about what more projects you want to see in future on this channel and me and my team will definitely try to make that project for you and upload it onto this YouTube channel. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe as we often come with this kind of uh, electronic and IoT project tutorials onto this channel every Sunday. And that being said, ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.